Today we are going to look at the Rockacom Pro mouse and we're gonna compare it with my favorite mouse so far, the Glorious Model O Minus. <laughs> What's going on everyone, I'm FG Tech Tips here and welcome back to the channel. After a long time we have again another gaming mouse review today. We're gonna be looking at the Rockacom Pro and their new flagship wired optical mouse from the Cone series. I tried the very first release of the Rocca Cone in 2010, as you can see in one of my videos in the channel, and loved it especially for its design. I purchased the Rocca Cone Pro, that you can see right here, as a pre-order on Amazon for about 80 USD dollars. I'll leave the link down below in the description as usual for you guys, but you can already see that it's a price above the average. At the same time, the Rockacom Pro Air was also released, but for gaming purposes and best possible precision and without latency, I always go for the wired version. That's why I'm not reviewing the Air version in this video. As usual, I will leave for you guys the chapters below so you can easily switch between different sections of the video. But for now, let's start with a quick unboxing. So so follow me. All right, let's open this thing. Okay, here is our box. And here we can already see how lightweight this mouse actually is. We get some technical specification in the back. All right, let's continue our unboxing. Quick start guide. We can see the mouse comes with extra fit, and here is our Rockacom Pro. As you can see, I have the black version here, but there is also a white version as well. The 1.8 meter paracord cable is flexible and light. I basically couldn't feel it also while gaming. We have an ultra lightweight shell of just 66 grams, so basically one gram less than the Glorious Model O and about 8 grams more than the Model O minus. But in my measurements I found a weight of just 63 grams, which is really amazing if you also think that we don't have any honeycomb shell here, which we are used to see in all lightweight mouses nowadays. We have optical titan switches for the left and right buttons for responsive clicks. They are faster than any mechanical switches and they are supposed to have twice the durability. Honestly, in my opinion, they are a bit too noisy, but that's just my point of view. I love the side buttons, they are well separated and big enough. We also get an aluminum wheel, which is lightweight and strong at the same time. You can really feel it's made of high quality materials and feels solid and durable under your fingertips. We can see at the bottom some nice smooth heat treated PTFE glides. We also notice a profile button and a new OWL sensor based on the PAW3370 sensor which is capable of 19K CPI and 50G acceleration. In comparison, the 3360 sensor on the Model O is capable of 12K CPI. Unfortunately, we immediately see the lack of any additional mouse button, which were instead available in previous gens. The big miss, in my opinion, is the DPI switch button, which I love, for example, on my Model O. The translucent fade on the main clicks provides a nice showcase for the RGB lighting effect. You can control the lighting effects via the software. As you see here, the two zones have two different colors, so they are configurable independently, but I would have preferred some additional zones or maybe a logo. Overall, the RGB light on the Glorious Model O is so much better, even if I like the Compro translucent fade, which gives to the mouse an elegant look without being too disturbing. The Compro's refined design and ergonomic shape comfortably supports any grip style, so it will be just fine for a palm grip, a fingertip or a close style. My personal favorite is a fingertip grip. 
In case you are curious here I have my end measurements. We can see we have a good ergonomic shape on this mouse with a nice angle. And after some hours of usage I can confirm this is one of the best ergonomic shapes I have ever tried since the old Logitech G5 which is almost 20 years ago. As for the dimensions we have 125.6mm of length, 40mm of height and 72mm of width. So you can now hear a quick noise test also compared with the Glorious Model O-. Now let's remove the mouse feet protection. And now you can see a glide test with both mouses. The Swarm software is quite complete. We have the usual setting for the mouse speed and DPI steps. At the bottom we have custom profiles that will be also saved directly into the mouse memory. We have button assignments and a section related to the RGB lighting effects for the two buttons. In the advanced settings we are able to set the pulling rate and distance control Within the general settings you are also able to update both the one software and the mouse firmware as well the gaming experience is absolutely great. I love the ergonomic shape of this mouse, it's extremely responsive, well balanced and smooth on the mouse pad in any conditions. The games you see here are all running at 4K resolution with VRR enabled. So in the end, will this be my main gaming mouse? Well, the short answer is no. I still think the glorious Model O has something more. The, the clicks on the Cone Pro are more noisy. The wheel is surely made of high quality materials, 
but it's honestly not as smooth as I want it to be. The missing button for DPI switch is something I miss and find very useful for example on the Glorious Model O. It's true that you can customize the other buttons but I would have preferred a separate button for that. Also something that probably nobody will care about is the fact that the Com Pro is unusable in other surfaces than mouse pad. I tried it for example on my jeans, on my shirt and desk and it was totally unusable while the Model O was still as precise as on the mouse pad. This is something that could be useful when you are for example in some strange position or, or places. Nevertheless I still recommend this mouse uh, as uh, it has one of the best ergonomic shapes I've seen in a while. But still I had to tell you guys what I preferred on the glorious Model O for example. And that's all for today folks. Uh, if you found this video helpful uh, please make sure to let me know by subscribing to the channel and hit a like to the video. Also have a look to the other videos of the channel if you like and especially to the PC gaming and hardware playlist if you like similar content like this one. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next video.